Hi guys and gals and welcome back to another Working Out Game video. Today's video is dedicated to the Prison Event Guide and before we jump into it, I just want to say a huge thank you for absolutely smashing the like and subscribe button commenting down below. Uh, this channel would be nothing without everyone's support and I just want to say I love you all and thank you so much for what you guys do. Let's jump right into it. If you go into story and then you go into the actual event itself, the Prison of Abyss, go to the details. This event is actually kind of complicated in the sense that it's released in certain tiers, right? So for example, you will get X amount of medals for you know completing it in 20 stage brackets. So 20, 40, 60, so on and so forth. You get five medals and then 181 to 190, 191 through 199, you know, you'll get X amount of medals. The biggest thing is that you're only be gonna be getting 500 medals in total. And pretty much there are certain stages that will be unlocked over time so we, the highest that we can go right now is stage 40 and then more will unlock as time progresses until october 26th right and it says right here this will be a regular event and some statuses from this event will carry over to the next event just note that i'm going to say that it's only from this period because these medals still expire on November 6th, I believe. So make sure you spend all your medals by November 6th. And I have some advice on what you should spend it on. So for the medal exchange, there's the Crimson Heart Weapon or Crim Criminal Heart Weapon. This weapon is actually really good. Just note that it is essentially meant for skill fodder. So think of it as a skill gem. Note that upgrading and limit breaking the weapon does not multiply the times that it will increase skill EXP. Just note that you can evolve it though. So you can boost the weapon skill EXP even further by evolving it. So if you make it from S to SR, it'll provide you more skill EXP. Don't level it, don't MLB it. If you plan on you know using it as skill fodder, just leave it at SR level 1 and it'll provide you more stats, right? So this thing's gonna be really cool and it's technically a nice way to get like a bang for your AP that you're spending on this event, right? So I like that, you know, skill gems, you always need more of them. We also get titles based off of how far we clear. I highly recommend just, you know, taking your time, don't burn out and everything, you know, because there's a lot of things they technically added because it's not just a prison event, they also technically added all of the story, right, for Active Hatred. Pretty interesting story, by the way. So you can see here, all right, it ends November 5th at 0659. So not November 6th, but November 5th, all right, just for everyone to know. And just note that, you know, players can check their tires from their profile and titles will be awarded immediately. So let's talk about the actual, like, metal shop itself. If we go into the metal exchange after this is done loading, okay, not there. Menu, metal exchange, I guess this is the way to access it for the most part. And then go into the metal exchange. Now, you know, the criminal hearts, those are easily buys. But if you're going to prioritize, since you only get 500 medals, I highly recommend picking up the twilight crystals first, the purification tickets, and then, you know, the criminal heart weapons for skill gems, right? Because you only get a limited amount of skill gems and skill gems are pretty much one of the most worthy things that you can get. And notice that the icon for this weapon is different in the sense that, you know, it had like the S at the at the very right hand corner, right? So it's a little bit different uh, compared to the other weapons where it doesn't have that symbol whatsoever. And then after you get those three things, you know, you, you got the, the Twilight Crystals, the Purification Tickets, and you got the Criminal Heart. You know, feel free to pick up the Snowflake Spear or, you know, the, the s rank Nightmare for EXP fodder. Essentially, that's what these guys are for. None of these, you know, Nightmares really stand out in particular, but if you want them, feel free to grab them. But most likely, get the Snowflake Spear. Other than that, like, there's not much else going on through the event. It's relatively easy, you know, the first 40 stages, so I'm pretty sure some of y'all have already breezed through it. Just be very, very careful with the way you spend your medals, right? Just be very, very careful because you only get up to 500 throughout this entire event. And then I just want to do a little review over Active Hatred. You know what I mean? Like I, I played it, you know, it instantly unlocked like Active Hatred normal with chapter five since I had, you know, chapter four pretty much beat for a couple of characters. So it instantly unlocked, I beat it. 
and I unlocked hard mode. Just note that Aladdin still isn't available, so we are waiting for him. I'm not sure if we're going to get a Halloween event, and I'm not sure if we're going to be getting Aladdin anytime soon. And if you go into the Grimoire for the Bloodstained Cloak, and then you go into Grimoire Details, just note that this isn't the last banner. Usually what they say at the very end, they'll add some notes right here, but for this one it says additional items that can be traded with Metals of Desire X as the metal exchange are scheduled to be added. Usually they add a note here saying that no more like, you know, items will be added to Metals of Desire at the very end of the page. So since they're still saying that they're going to be adding stuff in the future, just note that there might be more banners, right? Usually what happens is that they give us some sort of notice. I'm not going to make any predictions on the next banner. And just note that we have like this ballot event going on right now. This ballot event, I'm assuming it's just to like help them like gauge like, you know, the most popular character and everything and we get a title from it. And, you know, we get a, ten, a total of 10,000 ballots, you know, feel free to participate. We get like nice little goodies depending on what character, you know, it'll feature like the character on the app icon and we'll get like stamps and other items as gifts. I'm assuming hopefully some more Twilight Crystals because, you know, you can never have enough Twilight Crystals. But that's pretty much it for this video. The main thing is the metal exchange. Be very, very frugal with what you spend it on. If you get at least like one thing, just get the Twilight Crystals, right? It's only a hundred, but for the most part, you should have enough left over to Twilight Crystal, Puri Ticket, and then get the Criminal Hearts because skill gems are insanely worth it. That's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you everyone for all of your support. I'll see you in the next one.